Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of CMath Run. Tonight's episode is a request. It is a request on how to use the conversion menu. Now the conversion menu is a placeholder that lets you know that the, there is conversions available on your Casio Prism calculator. They're also available on other models. So when I press that, it says, it says this enables the conversion function. So the conversion function is enabled. So what that means is I got to go back to the main menu. I'll record uh, my keystrokes here for you. So it's going to um, tell you that the conversions are available on your run matrix menu. So from number one here, I will press number one to go into the run matrix menu. Again, if you don't see something that you're looking to do, for example, do some conversions, the place to look is under option. Press option. I don't currently see it, so I'm going to press F6. You see a menu called convert. I can convert length, area, volume, time, temperature, velocity, mass, force, pressure, energy, and power. I'll just show you a couple of these. I'll show you length and area, and maybe a little bit of volume, uh, maybe some time as well. Some of these other ones, I don't teach science, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do much with power, with energy, with pressure, and some of those other ones. So let's say I wanted to convert, I don't know, um, 42 years to days or minutes or something along those lines. So I go press time. I'm going to toggle down to see if I've got years in this first submenu. I've got hours, I've got days, I've got weeks. I've got another submenu, so I go to time two. There's years. So I press execute. Puts the word year in. I want to convert, so I want to use this little dark arrow here. That means I'm going to convert this time to... I um, don't want to go nanoseconds or microseconds. I want to go minute. Let's go hours. I'm going to convert 42 years to number of hours. How many hours have you been alive if you've been alive for 42 years? And there you have it. Length. Let's do some length. We have been working with some lengths in my pre-calculus class here. Let's say I take uh, 368 and we'll go with, we can do some metric. Or, similarly, I can go over. Let's go with some American. We have fathoms. We don't use fathoms too often. Rods, miles, and miles. Let's go with um, miles. 368 miles. I want to convert that to a length. Let's go with inches. Can you remember the conversion? If you want to go from miles, you got to convert miles to feet and then feet to inches. So this is a nice way to have students get from point A to point B a little quicker. Again, stu most students don't know that these are out there, that these conversions are capable. So it's kind of nice not to show them right away. I do have area. All right, let's take... Um, square feet to square yards. So let's take 12 square feet. Twelve square feet. I want to convert that to square yardage. There you have it. Um, if you take, let's go with nine square feet feet. Now let's go 144. 144 square feet. Convert that one to square yards. Oh, went too far there. Area. Number three, square yards. 
try to help students figure out the conversion. Most of you are thinking that should be 16. Well, let's see, one square foot. I could use the number two. Convert that to square yards. is 0.1. In other words, one square yard is how many square feet? 9.0. The reason that you get this conversion is it's based on how the calculator is converting. So this is 1 ninth. And there's a little bit of a round off there. So it just takes a little getting used to. There's nothing wrong with that conversion. That conversion is right. Same thing happens with volume. Temperatures, if you want to convert between different temperatures. Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what the R is. Velocity. Miles per second. Feet per second to miles per hour. Feet per second to kilometers per hour meters per second, etc. So you can convert between, let's say, miles per hour to meters per second, or even knots. So let's say you're traveling 55 miles per hour. It is a velocity. It is a number 5. And I want to convert that velocity to meters per second. So it just gives you a little quick overview. Let me see, is there any other one that I didn't touch on? Just to show you what mass, metric tons, force, force, you have these options, newtons, foot pounds, pressure. Energy. Energy has a subcategory there. BTUs, British thermal units. Power. Again, most of these I'm not really sure what they are, but uh, that's your conversion. That is your convert menu. So there is a little icon for the conversion menu. The con that icon really doesn't do much except let you know that those conversions are possible and uh, keep those requests coming. Keep your eye on what's going on with CMath Run. Uh, I will take requests and do requests as they come up. Thanks. Good night.